Here's everything you need to know before you see Blade Runner 2049. No spoilers, I promise. If this is your first time here and you want to know a little bit more about movies, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything here at Movie Nerds. 35 years after the sci-fi epic Blade Runner hit theaters to acclaim from critics but a resounding meh from audiences, don't worry, they came to their senses later. I don't get it, Tyro. Ridley Scott's masterpiece is getting a sequel, Blade Runner 2049. Once again, set in the universe created by Philip K. Dick in Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? The movie picks up 30 years after the events of the Harrison Ford original. It follows another Blade Runner, LAPD Officer K, played by Ryan Gosling, who, while hunting for replicants, as a Blade Runner is tasked to do, discovers a dark secret that could bring the end of humanity. And that's about all you need to know about the plot. If you need to, you can watch the trailer in the links below. So who's in the director's chair? Marked for years as a return geek for Sir Ridley Scott. Yep, he's a sir. Scott, in the intervening years, has been skewed into a producer role, leaving the director's chair open for a newcomer. And what a replacement they have found. Hello, my name is Denis Villeneuve. I'm the director of Blade Runner 2049. You might know him from Arrival and Sicario and Prisoners. Veneuve has shown a mastery of mood, tension and action in his relatively short career as a feature director, creating thoughtful movies that stay with you long after the credits have rolled. It's exciting to see what he can do with this world. Also exciting is the addition of master cinematographer Roger Deakins. Deakins' filmography is long and stellar, including The Shawshank Redemption, Fargo, No Country for Old Men, as well as Veneuve's projects Prisoners and Sicario. Just looking at the trailer for 2049, you know what Deakins can do with the camera. The film looks absolutely beautiful. Maybe this will be the film that finally gets Deakins that Oscar. After 13 nominations and no wins? It's a travesty, I tells ya! In the lead up to the film's release, Warner Brothers has released some required viewing in the form of three short films that are supposed to fill in the gaps between Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049. We've put the links below this video. Or you can just go in blind, like I'm going to. It's your call. There's no wrong answers here. Well, there you have it. You should have all the info downloaded to fool those pesky replicant tests. Once you've seen the film, make sure you let us know in the comments below what you thought of Blade Runner 2049. And until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you can stay up to date with everything that's happening here at Movie Nerds.